about Day of the Dance to the Lord of the Dance, Nick Monticelli. Oh, let's see what he's got in store for us this morning. You never quite know. Today you can step back in time to learn about Detroit's history at Greenfield Village. Nick, show us your moves. There will be no dancing. I don't know where Sean thinks he can get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. I love this time of year. It's gorgeous outside. Spring has sprung, and Greenfield Village is open for business. Jim is the man of the hour. He runs all things here. At least that's what he likes to tell himself every morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, we're standing in front of a locomotive, but not just any locomotive. This, as you tell me, is Henry Ford's favorite? Yeah, this was. Uh, this is good old number seven, and this was a locomotive Henry Ford was especially fond of and kept it in a... Uh, kind of restored state and would use it for special occasions and things like that. Um, over the course of time, um, it's kind of deteriorated and remained here in the collection, but um, it underwent a very long restoration process over the past 20 some years. And this is its third season back in, in, uh, in service, if you will. But um, it's restored to its uh, original glory. It's really and now a fully engine. functional. You say yep. it pulls guests around uh, the village. Yes, it does the circuit here, and it, along with three other, two other steam engines, uh, take turns doing that. Uh, so they run for a certain amount of time, then they have to go in for a certain amount of heavy maintenance. Every day there's a lot of maintenance to get the thing going every morning. <laughs> well, which, which is a good point, though. This is fully functional. There are, there are engineers. You have firemen. I mean, this, this runs just like it did back in the 1900s. That's right. Um, and the roundhouse, as you see behind it there, is where all the maintenance is done, as it would have been done in the 19th and early 20th century. These were all over the country. Uh, as we rely on the rail system for our main mode of transportation. It's unbelievable. Jim, thank you very much. A piece yeah. of living history. We're going to talk more to Jim about what's here, but in the meantime, I want to show you the information, what you can do and how you can do it here at Greenfield Village. As you see on your screen, 300 years of American life. They open today at 9.30 in the morning. They close at 5 later tonight. Uh, the tickets are $26 for the adults. Kids ages 5 to 12 are $19.50. Under the age of 5, your little one gets in free. Parking is $6, but it's, it's, it's it's a fee. It's not like you have to pay as you come in. It's all rolled into one. Sean, Lauren, I love this place. And Lauren, you're going to love this even more because coming up next, little baby lambs that they're maybe a day or two old. If Very that. nice. And we'll bring one home, Nick. Uh, <laughs> as well. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, that's your job. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> all right, Nick. Thanks so thanks, much. Nick. Go back in time. Let's head on over to Greenfield Village. We're talking about uh, Greenfield Village at the Henry Ford. Open today. That's where Nick Monticelli is live. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, everybody. Frankly, it's a little warm to be wearing this winter coat. I just forgot to bring a spring jacket. So it is gorgeous outside. It's a gorgeous day to be at the village, and it's a gorgeous day to be Jim and his new five-day-old friend. Uh, we don't name them. We tag them, right? Right. They uh, all get a number in the flock book so we can keep track of who's who. Um, but this is uh, one of the set of twins that was born just a few days ago. Excellent. So uh, I don't think many people realize that you have a working farm here. It yeah, it's the birthplace of Harvey Firestone. Uh, he would have been third generation that was born uh, at, at this place. The, the farm dates from the 18, late 1820s, but we show it as it would have looked about 1885. So the technology, the livestock breeds of animals, uh, the types of apple trees, things that are grown in the garden are all in keeping with what's specific to the time period. And this is, uh, this is one example, a little merino uh, lamb. Merinos were, were raised for the super fine wool that they had. Uh, so the man behind the camera, Zara, is over there looking at one of the homes on the farm. And you said it's actually, uh, they don't necessarily live there, but pretty close. Yeah, it's like a day in the life. You'll, you'll stop by and whatever would be happening at that time of day would be happening. So right now the ladies are inside getting the stove cleaned out. Uh, we should see smoke coming out of the chimney pretty soon. They're going to start fixing dinner for the staff that works here. All uh, recipes, types of foods that would have been eaten uh, at this time of the year. So we're, we're kind of short on time here, but can you briefly tell us, um, you know, if you're coming to the village, what can you expect outside of the farm here? Uh, there's all sorts of other things to do. The Liberty Craft Works is very active, so we have glass blowing, pottery making, the weaving, and the tin shop. Another living history farm at the far end of the village shows you life in the 1760s, and uh, of course the rides. We have Model T, the uh, the train, the horse-drawn vehicles, and of course the carousel. I can ride the Model T. You can. We have a whole fleet of them, and they uh, uh, they run every day here. Can I take the lamb on the Model T with me? Uh, 
wouldn't be the first time, but <laughs> probably not recommended. <laughs> yeah. I want to know about the other times. <laughs> Jim, thank you very much. Thanks for getting up early. Right, we appreciate you. that. Yep. Uh, if you want to see Jim, or more importantly, uh, this little one over here, you can do so today, opening weekend, celebrating 300 years of American history at Greenfield Village and the Henry Ford Museum. They open at 9.30. They're closing at 5 o'clock today. Admission is $26 for the adults. Kids, 1950 under the age of 5. You are free. Parking is an additional $6 or you could walk all the way here. It might take you just a little bit longer. Oh, uh, and the man behind the camera has decided that he wants to show you a squirrel. Lauren and Sean, I, when you have the camera, you can basically do whatever you want. Oh, it's the beauty squirrel. of nature. He's capturing it for us live on TV. We love it. <laughs> when you have baby lambs and sunshine, you can't go wrong. Lambs are adorable. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Boy, so much sunshine out there, Andrew. We are going to love this day today. Thank goodness. Oh, you said it. We've got great conditions over in Dearborn and across Detroit and southeast Michigan. Beautiful conditions at the airport as well. Warming up today and tomorrow. But what about Tuesday and beyond? We'll talk about that in your full extended forecast in just a few moments.